to That's How You Feel podcast. We have a very special guest this week. He's an extremely talented filmmaker and director out of Portable, California, who's currently making noise in the music video game. You've seen it behind the camera. Now it's time to hear his story. We welcome Sacramento Street Shot Ceballos to That's How You Feel podcast. Street Shot, thank you for joining the show, bro. We really appreciate it, man. Hey, yo, what up, guys? Thank you for having me on here. Uh, you know, it's something a little different to me. I'm usually the guy behind the camera, and now yeah. I'm, like, I'm in front of it, so yeah. Let's See how go. it goes. <laughs> hey, appreciate you being on the show, brother. Appreciate you. Now, we, uh, uh, we have our you. first single coming out, me yeah. and Beto. It's called uh, Flat Pockets, Thick Ass. It's dropping pretty soon. Now, we need a music video director and somebody to film it for us. You got us or no? Let's do it. Just let well, me know. Trying well, to let them know. Uh, give, 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 give them the, uh, it's deeper than the name, bro. It has a meaning behind it. <sighs> that you're, you're always trying to lie. He's, he, this guy's always saying there's a. There's, there's a, a double standard to it, bro. So go ahead. Well, let them know. <laughs> he says there's a double standard to like, you know, where guys are able to check out girls' ass and shit. Or girls are able to compliment other girls on their ass or whatever. But he feels like it's kind of fucked up that. You know, a guy can't compliment a, like another guy for having a nice ass. And it being, oh, dude, that guy's gay for doing that. Like, no, he's saying, if a guy has a nice ass, we should be able to fucking compliment them. <laughs> I didn't so, say that hey, now. He, 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 <laughs> this is this quote, bro. This I didn't say quote. that. That's, so that's, if you want to be a part of this music video, I mean, <laughs> I say it's up that. to you, bro. I did not say that. That's hey, definitely let's, cap. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I didn't, it is 2020, so, you know, we are about being versatile and, you know, <laughs> understanding everybody, so. Um, but let's get into the show. Hey, born and raised, Port- are you from Portoville, right? Yeah, I'm from Bo- Portoville, you- born and raised. Born and raised, shout out to the Ville. Yeah. Yes, sir. Couple young dudes making it, right? Yeah, you know, just trying to do a little, something a little different from, you know, not the regular nine to five, just, you know, trying to make something happen out here. Yeah, normally people that come from Portoville is either you're a game banger or you're just working a nine to five, you know what I mean? We're yeah, doing facts. You know? So, yeah, because I mean, there's really nothing out here to do. So, you know, what people do just come against her. Yeah. I know I'm lucky. I'm lucky I chose the right route because I, I almost went that way. No, you but, didn't. He grew up <laughs> in the West Side, bro. He was good. <laughs> Down that good side off. Yeah, yeah, the good side. So explain explain your nickname, Street Shot, and, and uh, Boyka Smith as well, right? Explain, explain yeah. your nicknames. How'd you get them? What's the meaning behind them? All right. So uh, let's start with Boyka Smith. Uh, I've always been to all that like fitness stuff, lifting weights, and well, Boyka, uh, it sort of started with, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, watched that movie, Undisputed. It's about some uh, prison fighter. Uh, he's, like, pretty yoked. And, mm-hmm. well, that guy, I used to always, uh, before hitting the gym, I would just slap on that movie and, you know, it sort of get me in the, in the mood, you know, like, get me hyped up. And every time, whenever my friend would, like, he would hit me up, he was like, hey, what's up, let's hit the gym. And I'll be like, all right, cool, I'll be ready. And now we slap on that movie and always watch so it's sort of like after a while, like he's like, hey, so what's up, Boyka? You know, and just because I would always watch that movie. And yeah, so uh, Smith, like I just went with Smith because I thought it flowed like Boyka Smith. It sounded cool for it's social just smooth. media. It's just smooth. Yeah. And while Street Shot, uh, Street Shot sort of ties back to when uh, how all this filmmaking stuff happened. Because I used to go by, uh, well, I used to do music and it was street sound. So you, used to, you used to record or you used to make beats or what did you do? Did you produce or what'd you do? I see. You could say a, uh, a rap. A little bit of okay. I used to rap, yeah. You know, like back then, back in the days, you know, like everyone, everyone wanted to be a rapper. Yeah. So yeah, I was one of those guys too. All right, we'll put you on the spot. Give us four bars. Here we go. No, oh, just nah, kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding, bro. Nah, that, that, that was back in the days, not okay. no more. <laughs> So we had Anthony Gonzalez on our show a couple of weeks ago and you know, he's the one that introduced us into your work because you filmed a couple of videos for him or a few of them and dude, they're absolutely incredible. Like hands down, probably the best here in the Valley. Uh, we were blown away. Your style is fucking, it's amazing, bro. Where do you feel you get your style from? Yeah. Well, as far as my style goes, uh, you know, like YouTube plays a big part of it. Like all these content creators, you know, I'm always on YouTube just trying to look for inspiration, you know, sort of keep me going. And well, yeah, you know, like I try to get a little something from all these other creators and sort of make it into mine. But, you know, like as far as filmmakers, inspiration, you know, like sort of like I try to I sort of like not really look up to him. But, you know, he like sort of gets me going whenever he releases a video or something, you know, like that's what makes me want to create more. And so that I don't know if you heard of him, uh, Ben TK. He's like a like no, I've heard of him. amazing videographer. So okay. I think most of my style comes from that guy, you know, like. He's a really awesome content creator. That's dope. So what's what's your background? Did you go to school? Did you go to school for this or? I actually uh, didn't go to school. I was You're actually going to school. On Everything's on your own? Well, on uh, YouTube tutorials. Well, still, okay. bro. That's, I, that's, I yeah, can sit on your YouTube. own. Yeah, that's self-made for sure. 
Yeah, because I was actually going to school. Well, I went to school, but I was uh, I was trying to be a math teacher. So, okay. yeah, I mean, I went to Fresno State. And, you know, well, when I was going to Fresno State, it was sort of hard to just, like, you know, just focus just in, in school because I was already doing filmmaking. And a lot of the times I was getting booked for all these shoots. And sometimes I wouldn't even make it to class no more. So, you know, I was like, damn, you know, I think I'm just going to, you know, go for this filmmaking and just like, so I ended up dropping out and just pursue what I like. Well, he did, he, he did a good choice by dropping out. Yeah, for sure. yeah. That's a good that's way. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I thought you for sure went to school or something. That's well, you say that on student even... loans. That's, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I did think about uh, going to a uh, filmmaking school, but a lot of these filmmakers that have been doing it for a longer time. They're like, Hey, don't do that. You know, just, uh, instead invest that money that you're going to waste in tuition and just buy like equipment and just get on YouTube and basically everything's on the internet nowadays. Like if you want to learn something, it's out there. You just got to like put into work and like Find look it. it up, search it. Yeah. hundred percent. We, we relate that to our podcast too. We start everything from the ground up and learn just from YouTube too. YouTube, Google, everything is so accessible nowadays and people don't understand that you don't need to go and spend all this money on education. Just learn. If you really want something, you can learn shit on your own for sure. Facts, yeah. Now, did uh, did music, especially hip hop, have any inspiration for you at all? I actually did, cause I mean, uh, well, yeah, back then when I used to do music, uh, you know, I used to watch all these music videos, and I'm like, damn, how do they do that? So I started picking up a, cram a camera and just uh, started filming myself, and I would watch all these uh, these crazy directors, you know, filming all this crazy stuff, and I try to, you know, recreate those, but which I really couldn't, cause at that at that time I didn't have the knowledge to like get that. Or the budget, basically, because uh, so I would just start filming myself, and like shortly after a while, like I just quit rapping. I was like, man, this rapping ain't, ain't cutting it. So yeah. I just started like focusing on just making videos, and uh, people started hiring me and stuff. And yeah, you know, just watching music videos, like watching a little short movie. Talk about some of your favorite artists. So my favorite artists. Yeah. Uh, yeah as far as, as, far as like, artists, are you? like artists, I would like to work with would be not uh, necessarily work well i mean of course but like actually what's good into that but who uh who, who like some artists you looked up to growing up to or, or not necessarily looked up to but you love listening to oh i gotta say hobson that guy hobson really okay yeah i'm more into that like underground stuff like hobson maybe mm. uh that dude he's he's popping up right now uh what's his name uh russ i'm a uh, do i like russ, russ too? Russ fan. I like yeah russ he's too. pretty dope some other guy named uh i don't know if you heard of uh dax dax is pretty dope too mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely got to listen to these guys. They're yeah, they're, they're dope guys, right? They're putting us on, bro. Yeah, they're pretty dope. You know, as far as like, they're pretty good at uh, storytelling and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's like that's yeah. your style. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Explain the process behind your uh, your videos. Now, do you bring the artist ideas to life? Is is it something you suggest, or is it a little bit of both? Well, it all depends on the artist, because uh, I mean, you're gonna encounter all these type of people and stuff. Like some people, they're like, hey, you know, just you have all the freedom, like complete freedom, like creative freedom, just to create whatever you want. We're going to do what you want. And there's others that, you know, they take their crap pretty serious. So they want to like put some of their ideas in the video yeah. too. And, you know, like as long as the client's happy, you know, like I'm going to go with some of their ideas they have too, you know, to try to make their video come, come out pretty good and stuff. But, you know, it basically depends on what the client wants. Cause there's, there's some clients that they tell me like, Hey, I want this, but you know, there's like the budget's not there. So, you know, like mm. it's impossible, impossible to make that happen. So yeah, yeah they basically all depends on what the artist wants. And well, the majority, the majority of the times they send me the, the, what's called the track. I listen to it probably like uh, two, three times, try to get it, like an idea of what, mm, okay. um, what would look, what would look good. Like in a music video. I sometimes like, just say he sends you a song and he sounds like, uh, I get like some, for example, Hobson vibes. I slap on some hops and uh, music videos and I'm like, okay, cool. You know, like this, this shot right here would look pretty dope, you know, and sort of like get some, some ideas from their music videos and try to make it like fit within our budget, you know, whatever we're working with. And yeah, you know, that's basically, or, and then like after a while, like uh, after listening to it, talk to the client stuff, just make a video treatment of all the shots that are going to be in the video, you know, just like basically in the, in the, it's like a, you can say a PowerPoint, you basically make the whole music video with just the pictures that get reference uh, videos, slap them on there. So you basically have the whole music video before even shooting it. So like that, whenever you get to the, to the, to the shoot, you basically have the whole, like everything there, like basically no time to waste, just get straight to the shots. Do you ever add stuff as you go? Like you might have your little blueprint in your head and you put it to life and you're like, 
as you're going through the music video, oh, this shit would be dope. Let me add this. Do you ever do that at all? Oh, yeah. Always. All the time? Yeah, always. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, one, once you're there, you're, for example, like, oh, the sunset shot would look awesome in this bit. And, like, in the scene right here, let's add in. We just, like, ma like make it fit, you know? Like, but it's always good to have a little blueprint of what we're going to be going for. So, you know, but, yeah, it's, like, if something comes up during the shoot, we just, you know, Make it work. What about what about the location? Picking locations is that stuff in your head, or you kind of drive around? Or we'll talk about that process. Oh, location scouting, like oh, is that what it's called? Yeah, like sometimes just say they want to uh, out in the woods and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. like go up to coffee camp, just look for some some pretty cool spots. That's the the longer route. But like nowadays, everything's on 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 the internet. There's there's apps like Airbnb for film sets, so you could go on there. And they basically have everything on there. Just say, uh, if it's indoors, just say they want a warehouse, uh, a classroom. They want a classroom scene. Just go on there, type in classroom, and look for all these uh, different classroom sets. Oh, I, wanna, know. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot easier. Like, But yeah, like uh, whenever they really have the budget for that, well, you know, around here in Portugal, there's really no good spots to like film and stuff because, you know, like, come on, it's Portugal. Yeah, right, right. But that that's that's when it gets a little complicated whenever they're trying to film something here in town, you know. Cause there's really nothing nice. Only orange groves and maybe uh out on the cuts, you know, make it look a little ghetto. So Everybody which, uses the yeah. same spots, bro. I mean we went to go take a did a shoot um a couple of weeks back too, and we it's just it's so hard to find a spot around here, bro. Like cause everybody uses the same shit. You know what I mean? Which is not their fault. Like, there's just nothing there's nothing nothing creative you can do out here, you know what I mean? Yeah, facts. That's true. Hey, let's get into some dirt a little bit. Just, you know, from your perspective, what's some pet peeves that just kind of get under your skin when the artists come come your way? What's some pet peeves? Like me, I follow a lot of filmmakers, and that's, uh, like, we always see, a, like, something that was done, like, back in 2012, and all these artists are wanting something like that, and I'm like, bro, that's pretty old already, and it's, uh, it's like all these crazy, like, transitions, like, I don't want to say, it's like, most of these TikTok, whenever, like, I don't know where these crazy zoom ins, you know, these crazy zoom ins and then like, uh, like really nasty overlays An overlay is, I don't know if you know what an overlay is, but it's like whenever you get all these, uh, I know, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. It's just like all these crazy glitches, mm -hmm. maybe, uh, cause they sell transition packs, like all these, uh, filmmakers, they sell transition packs and you see the same transition pack over and over and over, like all these, uh, like zoom ins, uh, glitches, uh, these nasty red spots all, all over the screen and stuff. And, uh, these artists, they be wanting that. And I'm like, bro, you know, like, let's focus more on like some, like maybe storytelling or something like that's something people would like actually, actually enjoy. Cause like from here in three years, that's going to be pretty old. And like, like making it a little movie. Made, yeah. Like try to go for a cinematic level. Mm. Uh, that's another word that's pretty played out. Like cinematic, like everyone like all oh, cinematic camera, cinematic, yeah. this cinematic, that, but yeah, try to make it look like a, say a movie, you know, cause like yeah. from here in three years, it's still going to look good. No, and I think these, that's the, that's the best way to like, Think of it, a music video should be a short film. You know what I mean? So why would people want to just do some stuff that... It's repetitive. Kinda, and, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and all these artists, all they want are just crazy-ass, like, effects. Like, they don't even make sense. It's like, I don't know where you're rapping about this and then, like, these crazy, like, <laughs> like glitches come out and you're like, wait, what happened there? Yeah. You know? So I, I think that the less effects, the better. Because, you know, like, the people are actually more focused on the on what the guy's saying, you know, like trying to go like with the, with the story of the video, not all these crazy effects that are like distracting the viewer from the actual video, you know, the actual song. And the song itself. Yeah. So I, I seen you acted in one of your, uh, your videos. Do you ever want to get into acting at all? Oh no, I wouldn't Never? like acting cause that, no, nah, I wouldn't. I'd rather, I'd rather stay behind the camera. You know, I enjoy it a lot more cause being an actor is a little, uh, it's just not me. Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> No, we you saw know, that. Uh, I, we what saw what the, video was it? The Doble Imperio. Oh, yeah, that, that music video. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll be down to be an extra for a video, a little, but a whenever, it comes down, whenever it comes down to, like, all that talking stuff, you know, like, damn, I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy, this guy's, um, you're pretty cool with Doble Imperio, no? Yeah, well, they're, they're our students, bro. <laughs> well, oh, are they? You oh, you yeah. started hiring them for, oh, yeah. for birthdays they, and stuff? They, I went to go sing to my mom's birthday, just, just hired them to to go, uh, we have a party coming up soon. So dope kids, they're, they're, they're good, man. Hopefully yeah, they pay attention more in class first and, instead of uh, oh, yeah. being on their phone. But no, Dublin Video is doing good, man. Yeah, Dublin Video, 
the only band they got something going you know we got a few projects lined up this we have a project coming up we're actually going to film it hopefully within uh the next week or two and yeah that video is going to be that 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 latest video we dropped with them what was it Cholillo? that one was dope but i feel like this is going to be a little better you yes. know like those guys they're talented kids you know what are they like 17 16 they're young, bro 16, you know they're young bro. yeah they got they got they're something going too. They're hungry. Yeah, now they, they want it. You know, it's just a matter of time, you know, like mm-hmm. like as far as the projects we got going, it's just a matter of time before they make it. Sure. What are some artists that you, you listen to or that you've worked with that you you just know they have that it factor? You know that they're going to blow up one day. Do you have any of those? I actually do. You know, uh, one of them is uh, Doble Imperio. Mm-hmm. You know, like their work ethic, it's, uh, it's crazy. You know, they're always working, you know, because like some artists, they, they drop a song and – drop it with the video and they don't drop another song to like within two, three months, you know? So, you know, like you really don't see a, uh, like that they want it. So, uh, the only better I see, they, I see potential in them. Uh, there's also this guy from, uh, Visalia, his name's, uh, Versa. I don't know if you heard of him. Mm-hmm. Versa, that, that guy, he's a really talented individual. Another guy that's pretty dope too, that I've worked on several projects with is, uh, I don't know if you heard of, uh, YM. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that, that guy, he actually has a, well, he had a song with Blueface. He dropped yeah. a song with Blueface and uh, Fondo Rondo. That guy, he, whenever I would go over to his house, he would just like be like, hey, bro, look, look at all these songs that I had. Just pop up like 30 new unreleased tracks. I'm like, bro, what are you doing with all that music? You know, <laughs> like drop it already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that guy, I think, I think he's a pretty uh, talented individual too. You know, like there's actually a lot of, a lot of cool uh, cats around here, but, you know, it's just that, Exposure, sometimes right? uh yeah exposure and uh sometimes they see that like music it, it takes time mm-hmm. you know because they expect to get uh you know just drop one song and then i don't know what just go viral with that one song but no you know you gotta you gotta be dropping like constantly you know new mm-hmm. new material so people could be uh listening and it's a long process but you know, you just got to be patient. Do you find a lot of similarities in your work as a director and filmer com- and um, compared to, you know, rappers and artists and the way they approach their, you know, making music? Oh, okay. So making music basically and, you know, your filming process, do you feel like there's a lot of similarities? Because you get a behind the scenes look at that too, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like creating music and uh, shooting videos, I feel like it's an art. You know, like, so mm-hmm. it's like the same uh, process. Cause like, as far as like, like the way they approach a, a song, well rap, they have the, the instrumental down, you know, they write to it. And while well, Spanish, they first, well, I've, I've seen they, they, uh, they write the song first, then they create the melody. Really? They do that? And, yeah, oh, I've seen, that. well, at least the people I've seen that, mm-hmm. that's how they work. They create the, the song first, the, the lyrics then they create the melody oh, okay. and I see it's, it's the uh, opposite from a uh, rap. And as far as like, uh, filmmaking, whenever I would, uh, whenever I film like these, uh, it's called fitness videos or just, uh, car videos and stuff. I first, uh, well, it basically depends on the project. I first record the video. And then when it comes down to the editing, I got to like look for the right, like, so I first record the video, then I look for the songs. So it's basically, uh, almost like, creating a corrido basically because you know i first create the the content then i make uh well, i don't make the, the music but i look for the right track which is pretty funny because as far as the edit goes there's times that an edit with looking for the right song takes longer than actual editing the video because <laughs> you know like in like the song makes or breaks a video in reality like you can have these fire takes but if the song don't don't go with it you know it's trash video so yeah i feel like it's a it's a process you know you gotta go through several uh a lot a lot of layers to to it yeah definitely Hey, it's funny you said that about the the song making it because he shot a an adidas commercial kind of right it was there something to that right like adidas ad thing and the song just made it fire, but also the movement of it, all the guys that came out on it was dope, but the song just kind of clicked with it. And the timing when you yes. drop, when you do certain cuts and it drops. And yes. You, yeah, for so sure. So I, I, I heard like clearly what you're talking about now, just describing from that previous video. Yeah, because like uh, the song sets a certain type of mood. Like if you want your viewer to feel like, like, because that, 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 that commercial, it, it was actually a Adidas spec work. So, you know, I, cre- I wasn't hired by Adidas, which right, right. You know, it's just like, we're like, hey, let's create this Adidas video. And we uh, we made it, but like, 
like the whole point of that video was to like make the viewer like motivated to go out and you know like uh lift ways up uh, play sport or something you know just get, get motivated so, yeah just <laughs> you know cop some ideas but yeah. like the the song we're we're trying to go for like uh like some motivational stuff you know like to make the viewer want to get up yeah and i mean if we would have put a slower song it would have probably made them like emotional like sad and stuff you know so mm -hmm. it, it like the song plays a the beat plays a, a big role in the in a video it sets different emotions and stuff you know so you know that that i find that the hardest part about creating a video whenever it comes down to finding the right song like sometimes that could be the most stressful part about creating a video so whenever creating a music video like it's easy because they're already providing the songs for you mm -hmm. so you know like that's some stress off your back already so you know I, I i i feel like that's the most stressful part about like creating all these like like commercial work you could say oh you so you i see you film a lot of action shots and you know you're into you know working out and you, you focus on that area a lot do you have a sports background uh, i actually enjoy filming uh like all that working out stuff you know sports sports videos but i actually don't just lifting weights is what i enjoy so you know but as far as sports like in high school never played no sports you know i never had the time for it so I noticed you made a video for an Olympian. His name's Callum something. I saw he has like over 3.2 million followers. How did you get that opportunity? Uh, Callum, that dude's a great guy. He's a legend. I actually didn't expect to get a shoot with that guy. How, how it actually happened was a uh, fitness expo was coming up and I had tried sliding it. I tried messaging him, DMing him. Never got back to me, that guy. He probably gets tons of messages. I was like, hey, bro, you know, let me shoot you a video and stuff, you know, like that typical DM, like, hey, let me shoot you something pretty cool. And, and while, honestly, I didn't really have no fitness videos, you know, I was like, damn, how am I going to land a, a, a shoot with this guy? So I just started looking around, and I remembered Anthony, you know, he, shout out to Anthony Gonzalez, out there Anthony. from McDermott. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to shoot him also a message, but I had a, I was like, damn, that guy's probably not going to write back because, uh, you know, I have no work to show him. So I pulled up to McDermott a couple times, expecting to run into him. Never happened until this one day I, I pulled up. He was having this class. I asked him, I was like, hey, what's up, bro? You know, like, I'm a filmmaker, bro. He's starting off. Uh, let me shoot you a video. And then he just looked at me. He was like, oh, yeah. I, I, I showed him a, a video of something I could create, which I, I had never created something like that. I was like, bro, we could get something like this. You know, like, I'll shoot you something like this. And, well, yeah, at that time, it was like I shot him a free video for – you know, just so I could show something because there was an, uh, a fitness expo coming up within the, uh, it was January and this happened like November. And I was like, hey bro, you know, let me shoot you something. And he eventually ended up saying, yeah, you know, we set up the shoot, went great. Pulled up to the fitness expo. I was like, okay, you know, like all these people right here, at least one has to say, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just started going up to all these fitness influencers. That was a great way to like, they wouldn't answer my DMs but right there. You know, I had like five minutes to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. So like every time I would go up to a fitness influence, I would be like, hey, uh, I love what you do. You know, like since I would also do fitness and well, yeah, you know, they were basically celebrities to me and shit, you know, so. So I was showing the video. A lot of them, they're like, oh yeah, cool. You know, just email me. I'm like, oh, that's a no. And then I, I came up to Calum and I showed him my work. He ended up liking it. And then we set up a, a date to shoot. And the thing is that I messaged him. I didn't think he was gonna write back. I thought he was just saying like, like, yeah, you know, let's do it. But I did a message, you know, we set up a day to, to shoot it. And he shot, he just gave me his address. He was like, yeah, let's do it. This is my address. And I pulled up to his house. I was like, hey, bro, I'm right here outside. And then he was all like, hey, just come on in. I'm like, bro, you don't even know me. I went in there. He was just laying down in bed. He was like, oh, what's up, bro? I'm like, hey, let's get the shoot going. He was like, oh, yeah, let's get it. You know, he just threw on some clothes ate a quick breakfast and we just went to go shoot that video and yeah this was back when he had a he had an injury he had a fell off a cliff or something like that jesus and yeah so you know whenever he dropped that video it went really good and you know all these other people like companies and stuff they started hitting me up because you know they liked that that video and also like in that business expo also landed uh, a video with this this other olympian her name's uh ashley k fit She's a three-time Miss Bikini Olympian. I landed that because of that fitness expo. Thanks to that fitness expo and thanks to the video I shot Anthony. And thanks for him letting me shoot him that video. I had some work to, 
if you show those Olympians and open the door for you, open door, bro. You know, if you want to get into the like wedding industry or, or, you know, cause there's expos on everything. I, I've heard there's these weddings, uh, wedding expos you could go to. And then right there, just build your plants, you know, like, or even this, uh, mm-hmm. they call beauty industry. Yeah. That's a pretty big industry right now too. You know, you could just go to the, all these expos. Oh, when it goes then, all the time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You can just go to, you can just go to <laughs> these expos and, and show them your work because it's a lot harder through through social media because you know all they see is just text you know right. and whenever it's one on one I feel like it's a lot easier to land gigs like that you know just go to these expos if there's like two three hundred companies there at least one will say yeah mm-hmm. and then from there just build and build and I feel like uh, thanks to Callum that was my first big shoot and from there just you know just people just started hitting me up for for work and. No, I'm thankful. And also, uh, I got to give a, a huge shout out to uh, Anthony and AJ Reed Speed. That guy, you know, like he helped me out a lot. That guy, uh, he's a, the the trainer right there at, at also McDermott. So those two guys, you know, they they helped me out a lot when I was, when I, whenever I was first starting off. You know, they gave me that opportunity to shoot them some some video, even though I was in. You know, I'm not saying I'm – well, I still got a lot, a lot of learning to do, but, you know, they gave me the opportunity to shoot them a – some fitness videos. Dope, bro. That's dope. Who are some of your dream people to work with? Do you have any artists or certain people that, you know, it could even be in creating with another director? Do you mm-hmm. have any dream people you want to work with? Because I, I film mainly uh, sports videos and music videos. So as far as like the, the, sport, uh, the music videos, I would like, I mean, I'm a huge Hobson fan. So, you know, I would love to work with that guy. But his videos, they're, they're insanely good. So, you know, I still have a lot of work to do. Hopefully that happens one day. Nah, you're going to get there soon. You're going to get there soon. Yo, Speaking to the distance, brother. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, it all just takes time and practice and just patience. Mm-hmm. And uh, as far as, like, sports, it's not like uh, I wouldn't want to work with just one individual. I would like to work more with uh, companies, like, you know, Gatorade commercials. I would love to shoot a Gatorade commercial. But, like, once it comes down to those commercials, you know, it's because, like, right now, I do everything on my own. I shoot, edit, you know, sound design, everything on my own. And like, once you get to that, to that level, maybe I might, I may just be the guy that's uh, operating the camera or just directing the shoot. And, you know, there's like 20 people on set. So, you know, I feel like it's not going to be as fun no more, but you know, if I could create like, just like how I'm working right now, just solo, you know, Gatorade, I would love to shoot them something like pretty dope. You Talk know, about that a little bit, though. Do you do you enjoy that? Do you enjoy being hands on with every every technical thing when it comes to your work, or would do you want to have a team to where some will focus on audio, some will focus on lighting, some will fo- you know what I mean all those different things, or do you actually enjoy that? Like as far as uh creating everything on my own, like I enjoy it because I'm learning along the way. Like as far as lighting, you know, like on every shoot I learn something new. So you know, just say if I was just operating the camera, and someone was doing lighting for me, like that's something I'll be missing out on, like, on learning how to do that. But I got to say, sometimes it's, it gets a bit stressful because just say we get a, we only have five hours to shoot this video. Just me doing it alone, it'll be, it's like, uh, like I'm all, I'm all over the place, you know, trying to get it done. But if I had a team, it would be a lot, it would be a lot easier because, I mean, like for shoots like that, like I don't have a, a team team, but, you know, I have buddies that sometimes they come out and help me out whenever it's like a, a shoot that I, I really, really need some extra hands. But, you know, like down the road, hopefully, like I'm able to like form a little team, like get a, a what's it called, video production company will be awesome, okay. like down the road. That's a, that's a big, like, that's a goal down the road that I have hopefully happens one day. Dope. So do you, every time you film a new video with somebody or do a new project, do you want to find something, just something to get better at? Do you want to improve every single time you do a new video? Do you want to learn something new? Oh yeah. Always, you know, it's all, it's all about just, uh, getting, uh, just improving this stuff. And as far as, uh, you know, like video shoots, I always try to make something different from what I, or just try to, I, I'm always up for a challenge, you know, like, cause I still have a lot of learning to do. So like with every shoot, you know, just try to try to get it better than the, than the last shoot, uh, than the last video I did, you know, trying to just impress my viewers, you know, like what I love is whenever like I, I get this shot or I get this, uh, say this effect that everyone's questioning themselves like, Hey, how did he get that? 
that shot. So that's like, like I just I love see that. that I see that a lot in your work. Sometimes I look at that shit. I'm like, dude, how the fuck? I was looking at that one you did with YM with the money floating around him. I was like, oh, how yeah. the hell do you even do that shit, bro? That shit's crazy. To yeah, me. I I gotta say the first time because I have that 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 scene. Uh, it's uh the first, whenever I was first trying it out, like it took me a while, but you know it's it's throughout the music video. So the second time I did it to, for the next scene, it was a lot easier. So yeah, you know, like when I first started making that, trying to, and then again, it was all YouTube tutorial. Because even following a YouTube tutorial sometimes can be get a bit stressful. Either you don't have that software, or you know, it's just like it's hard. You know, like like as far as the steps goes, like your computer can't handle that effect or something. You know, so you got to find ways to like, you got to find a way around it. And whenever I was making that effect, you know, like at first, it took forever, like. I took hours to do it and then it don't always come out the first try. So it takes several, it took several attempts. And then one thing is that whenever we did that, uh, whenever like, uh, for that scene, we didn't shoot it to get that money scene. Like, no, it wasn't money scene. It was, a, it was, a, it was actually like little paper. Uh, what, what do you call that? Yeah, so come, I like the name of it. No, no, it was paper. You know, whenever you take a picture and it comes out and then you gotta like. Oh, like, film? Like the. It was, there's a word for it, it's, it's soft film. Oh, the, uh, I don't know exactly what you're talking about, the, um. I'm blank. Well, you, you know, you take the picture on the, on the, on the. And then, you, and then you like, you gotta like. It. Oh, what the fuck is it called? Yeah, well, well, it was that, it was just flowing them around, uh, it was just flowing around them, like, it was basically up, up in the air, and whenever I was editing, I was like, damn, this, something like this would look like, like, badass right here in this shot. Cause I mean, then, like, I also gotta say like, like whenever we're shooting, like whenever it comes down to the editing, that's sometimes like when all the ideas just come to me, I'm like, and then I switch it up a bit here and there. And then the artist gets in like, hey, wait, what happened here? You know, like, this is badass. I wasn't expecting you to do something like, something like this. And well, yeah, for that shot, like when I first created that effect, it took me hours. And then I had to redo that effect like throughout the whole music video for like another three, four times. It was like a piece of cake, you know? So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you learned along, uh, you learned along the way you know, so, you know, I, uh, like on every video, I, I, like I try to make it on every video, like try to throw like a little effect or something. So like people could question themselves like, Hey, you know, how do you do that? You know, like, yeah, like, that's pretty And badass. do you ever have, do you ever have that moment where you just like, this is the money shot. This is, this is the one that people are going to be talking about. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's always that one shot. And like right now that you said, uh, like, this is the money shot. There's been times like, like I'm filming, like, hey, sorry for all the, uh, for the people I work with, but you know, like this, this sometimes happens. Like whenever you're filming, uh, like, you know, they're all their energies there and everything, you know, like they're in the, they're in the zone. I'm like, all right, this shot's like, this is the shot right here. I'm recording, you know, we go three minutes out and then they want to see the footage <laughs> and they're like, Hey bro, you know, I, I love that take. Can I see the footage? And, and I just look at my camera and I'm like, Hey, bro, uh, I forgot to press record. <laughs> that <laughs> always happens. It always happens because, like, like, so much stuff is going on. And, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and they're, 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 like, they're, like, in the zone and stuff, you know, like, like that energy is there and everything. And me, too, like, I'm feeling, like, pretty, like, I'm like, oh, this is a shot we were yeah. wanting you right here, you know. And then, like, sometimes I tell them, like, oh, not, bro. Like, like, I don't let them know that it was a shot. You know, I just tell them, like, hey, bro, now we, we. We gotta, we gotta redo it. I didn't like the, I didn't like the way you did it. But knowing it, like over here, you know, I was like, damn, yeah. you know, I forgot to press record. Or sometimes, like, cause and that's the worst like, feeling, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hate it. I Willie, hate did it. you press record on that's this? That's the worst. Yeah, exactly. Man. <laughs> that, making that fucking recording and you don't press record and you just killed it. Like, oh, that's the worst. I can only imagine doing it for something like as serious hold on. as you do. Did you press record on this? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. No, we definitely press record. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. good. We're All good right, going so now. Good. <laughs> right, no. Yeah, that's happened so that's many brilliant. times, and uh, sometimes it also happens because uh, you know what I film on. Uh, I film on uh, the camera. I film on it's 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 not a uh, autofocus, so it's manual focus. So I gotta be pulling the the focus manually, and there's times like, just say uh, for example, a scene of a car driving like they're they're riding in their car, and I'm getting these rolling shots, and. Uh, like they make this turn and I can't pull focus. It's like, like not in, yeah. like everything's out of focus and stuff. Or 
or this certain thing that I was supposed to get is not in focus. And then they want to see the shot, you know, like that, that's something I, I hate. That's not pressing record and not, not getting the like focus. Hold on. Let's get into, do you have a funny story? Don't be dropping no names. We don't, we don't need that there. That's fine. If there's been a specific moment or a story that you have. Uh, I mean, as far as funny, I don't think I have one yet, but yeah, I've, yeah, had yeah. A, I've, I've had a, I've had a, yeah, I have a story. Uh, it was not funny, but like, uh, it sort of made me like, like shit my pants a bit, you know, well, not <laughs> shit my pants, but like it, it made me like yeah. really, really like, it's been one of the worst, uh, scenarios like I've been in. Yeah. Experiences I've been in and well, I don't, I don't want to say the name of the artist, but you know, this one time I was shooting this music video for this guy. He was actually actually like this gangster rapper, and we're it was it was a long shoot, and it was already like uh, I want to say like well it was already dark. <clears throat> I don't exactly remember what time it was, but it was it was pretty late already, and we were out in this park. So to get the shot, I had to get all my lights off the trunk. You know, like I set up all the lights. These guys that were drinking already. Uh, they were waiting for me. They were like in a, like just sitting down in the bed of the truck. It was like I want to say like six seven guys. And one artist, he was just right there, you know, he was already faded, like pretty drunk. And that's something I hate whenever the artist starts drinking on set. I hate that. And well, yeah, we were uh we were doing this this the scene and I was setting everything up. And I told him I was like, all right, cool, you know, like let's get it. And I got the camera out, started recording, and everything was smooth. And then I don't know if it's like, hey bro, you know, I want to get this shot. And he takes his gun out, you know, you know, like Gangster rappers they always want to be flashing guns, yeah. and I don't know where all these all his other boys take out guns too. And I'm like, wait, we didn't we didn't agree on this, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they all took out guns, and you know, like, what if I like, say no? I, Am I, I gonna get shot? Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, can't that's say no what, at that point. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. And they had been drinking already, and then I was like, hey, bro, you know, like, I don't really feel comfortable getting a shot like that because there's been uh, there's been stories of people that have actually like. Like, oh no shit before because yeah you know like yeah well i mean they they start like they they accidentally like pull yeah. a trigger or something you know like they shoot each other and stuff but this 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 one uh at this at the scene right here they all take out their guns and stuff and i'm like damn bro you know like i don't feel i don't think this like i don't feel comfortable getting the yeah. shot and then uh the guns don't go with like, the song now now yeah. he was like well it was a gangster song you know i just like okay, nah, yeah. i don't think just him having a the gun there made me like like it wasn't really I, I didn't feel safe yeah and uh this guy he was like nah nah we're good bro we're good look it's not even it's not even loaded and i was like ah oh, shit you know all right cool you know let's just get it just get it done with you know so we're getting the shot and then and then again i gotta say that we're i'm in the neighborhood that i don't even know and they have mentioned something about them, them being in a neighborhood that was uh that wasn't like theirs they weren't allowed around that that, oh, that area either. <laughs> so, so I was like, damn, you know, that's why I just wanted to get it done with and just out. And I got uh, this was like, this was a wall back right now. I wouldn't do it. This is when I was first starting off. You know, like right now they pull out guns. I'm like, bro, I'm out. You know, I'm not doing this. Well, yeah, well that one time, you know, I'm recording up. They're they're above me because they they were sitting on, they were staying on top of the truck. I, I was on the ground, you know, just filming them. So they were like like looking down at me i'm just recording them we got one take out of the way you know we were going for that close-up now this is a white take now we're going to close-up shot i'm recording it you know like i'm like oh all right cool you making sure it's recording because i didn't want to redo it again <laughs> you know <laughs> you know just getting the shot and out of nowhere like i just hear two gunshots das, das. they just went off and i'm like and this guy he had his gun like right next to me so my ears just start ringing Oh. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn, am I, did I get shot? You know, I'm just like, like, just looking around. I'm like, oh, I'm so good. And this guy, he's just all drunk, just shooting in the air. <laughs> he just uh, just oh, kept shooting in the air because, like, all his boys right there, they were they, they all had guns. So, you know, so as soon as the one that had set the gun off first was the actual artist. He was an artist. You know, he just, well, you know, the rapper, I don't really want to, like, well, yeah, it, was, it was a rapper. Uh. He just, like, uh, unloaded his gun, like, two shots and then the other guys followed they started like they started shooting and i'm like damn nah, i'm out you know i had all my light stands and everything i just like i just threw them in a trunk i just threw them in my car and just took off i was like 
like, damn, you know, like, damn, it could it could end it a little worse, you know. And well, I just you're not being here today, bro. Yeah, no. <laughs> I just let go. go too. <laughs> yeah, and and the thing is that that he had already paid me, so so I was like, oh, I'm good. I'm you know, I just left from there. And then like the, I got I want to say the next one he was like, hey bro, are we cool? You know, did we get all the shots? I was like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> bro I was got shot. Shots. You know, like. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, everything was cool until you unloaded that gun. You know, like, that wasn't, that's, that wasn't needed, you know, because, like, I mean, you're not going to hear the, the gunshots or in the video because everything's yeah. going to be muted. So, you know, like, there was really no need for that. It was just, like, like once the artist starts drinking and stuff, like, mm. or just the people are, uh, at the shoot, because there's times that, like, these artists, they invite all their friends to be in their video. And, I mean, I got to say, like, the majority of the times the friends they're just there to have a good time they don't like that's that's what i've seen from from past experiences like they're not there for the shoe they're just there to have a good time just to drink yeah, you know yeah. there's you know so whenever there's alcohol included in a video shoot they always end like, the, the, the majority the, of the time yeah do the people like, the, do the people like the cameo the people like their friends stuff ever fucking annoy you because they're acting belligerent. oh yeah yeah there's this other shoe uh yeah, I don't, I don't really want to throw names out there, but, know, huh? you know, yeah, because uh, yeah. there was a shoot, uh, we were supposed to, uh, <coughs> we were supposed to, uh, it was going to be like a kickback scene, like a little party scene. We were already uh, getting ready to shoot, like, the video, and then we needed, like, some extra girls, and one of the guys, uh, he was like, yeah, hey, I know some girls, you know, like, I'm going to hit them up real quick, they're going to come through, and we're like, all right, cool, you know, like, while they get here, we're going to go uh, get these other shots, and while we got the shots and then the girls rolled up to get that, that scene and they showed up all drunk, you know, like, like the lights, they, whenever we were recording the, the, the scene, they kept tripping over the lights and stuff. I was like, damn, you know, like I would just tell them like, Hey, you know, we're trying to work here. You know, like all I'm asking for you to do is just stand in this spot right here and don't move. And then out of nowhere, like she just starts like, like throwing her, her ass, you know, like all over the place, just twerking and stuff, like in front of the artist. I'm like, hey, you know, like we just told you just to stand here. Don't like be all over the place. Kept on tipping over the, the lights, spilling her drink everywhere. I'm like, damn, you know, like to the point where I was like, hey, if you're not going to listen. We're going to have to kick you out. You know, like, mm -hmm. like whenever people like that show up, like, like drunk and stuff, they're like little kids, you know, they don't listen. Mm -hmm. Like whenever there's alcohol included, like, yeah, that goes, with everything, though. When they, yeah. that goes with everything. That goes with everything, though. You know, when there's alcohol involved, something's going to happen. You know what I mean? Especially something like that. Because everybody has an ego. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. But, and I mean, know, from... So do you have any other aspirations or goals outside of <laughs> filming? Or is that just where you want to grow at? Well, my goal uh, is to eventually start shooting for these bigger brands. And, you know, like, like from here in five years, I still see myself doing... Uh, I still see myself uh, as a filmmaker. You know, that's something I want to pursue. That's something I want to you know, eventually, you know, do for the next couple decades, you yeah. know, and eventually, you know, like I said in a little while ago, you know, just get a, a video production company. Like, and as far as like video production companies, like some, some of the dudes that have been killing out there, I got to say is, uh, is Blank Square Production. Those guys there, they also keep me going. They're the dudes that they shot for a lot of a lot of big artists like uh, they would shoot for I don't know if you heard uh, King Von, that guy like the latest vid, the late the that yeah R P King Von, and the last video they that he dropped was actually shot by those guys that's and it. they're 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 insanely good so you know that's one of my main goals to eventually like like get uh, start shooting these bigger budgets like for bigger artists and stuff you know start making uh because I mean I'm barely starting I've barely been doing this for around eight years. Mm -hmm. But that was it was just playing around and stuff. So like around four years, I've been doing it and yes, you're so you know, good at the game. Yep. Yeah, I'm so new to it. It's like 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 these artists, you know, like also like I'm I'm still new to it. So I'm not expecting to just start working with all these big names out of nowhere. Cause I mean, these dudes working with all these big names, they've been doing it for years. You know, like probably mm -hmm. two, three more. Uh, the time I've been doing it for, you know. So it yeah, you know, hopefully down the road, you know, I start. You know eventually land these bigger bigger clients which would be really good but then again you know you know what they say the more money the more stress you know like yep. they're gonna be a lot more picky Probably. with their work yep. yeah i know you'll be there soon bro just keep on applying the pressure bro you're doing good your work speaks for itself 
But we're going to move on, though. Right here on That's How You Feel podcast, we have what's handing questions. It's either this one or that one. You ready, bro? All right, let's get it. All right. So we've noticed on your IG, you wear a lot of Timberlands. So Timberlands or Jordans? I got to go with the Tims. I got to go with the Tims. Yeah. Right, what's, up? Yeah. what's up with that, though? You know, I just uh, I just love the, the fit of it. You know, like, I just like how, like, they're comfortable and stuff. And actually, you know, like, as far as Tims, I've, I think I've owned, like, almost every color of it. You know, I just yeah. don't go for the brown ones. I go for the, you know, I have some blue ones, some some uh, black ones, white ones. You know, I just love them. I just love the look of it. Because, I, yeah. I mean, I love like that, like that like East Coast one. look. Yeah, I'm saying East Coast boy heart. That's probably what it is. Yeah. You've been yeah, watching just, too much DMX and Jay-Z videos, huh? <laughs> hey, for real. <laughs> yeah. All but, right, moving along. Tacos or burritos? <laughs> I got to go with tacos. Okay, okay. Yeah, so tacos al pastor to be exact. Damn. Ooh, right there yeah. on the east side too, huh? Fire. Yeah, no, nah, that's little mini TJ right there. You know, they got yeah. everything out there. <laughs> yeah. uh, can't film for six months or can't work out for six months? Yeah. That's a you good know, one. I'll probably go with... Can't work out for six months. Damn. You know? That much? You love this filming shit that much? You probably got those heavy ass fucking cameras anyways. They yeah. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah. That's that's a workout. You know, because oh, set us up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I mean, there's times I'm filming these weddings and it's like a 10, 10 to 12 hour shoot. Just holding that camera, it's like, I gotta say it's a good like like six, seven pounds with everything rigged out. It gets quite heavy after a while. Right. So right. You know, it's a workout, you know, like at, at the end of the day or the next day, I'm all sore. I'm like, man, you know, that was, that was a workout. It's mainly yeah, just forearm and, and, you know, it's just arm. It's a yeah. good arm workout. For sure. The next one, what's more fun to shoot? Hip-hop music videos or Spanish music videos? Man, that's a tough one. Because they're both lit, huh? Yeah, nowadays, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but most of these uh, Spanish artists, you know, they – they're trying to go more for that hip hop sort of look in a way. Like if you go, if you look at Rancho Mida, you know, they, you see them with their hair dyed and everything. So it's, right. you know, I feel like, like nowadays it's, it's about the same now. Oh, okay. You no. Know, What's more lit? What would you go with? I would go with, uh, that's a hard one. Let's say, uh, well, I mean, I shoot more uh, Spanish music. So yeah, let's go with, with corridos. Mm -hmm. Drake or J. Cole? I got to go with J. Cole, but, you know, I got to give respect to Drake. You know, I'd be loving his videos there. Like, yeah. his videos there, there's something else. Like, J. Yeah. Cole, as far as, like, the videos I've seen with J. Cole, like, like you know, he tries to keep it more on the, you know, that movie-like scene, you know, like, movie-like feel. But Drake, that dude be, he be make, level, taking bro. it that next level, yeah. It's the high, it's it's the high Williams. It's the high I Williams. I think he has that Theo Scudra guy that he um, – directs and films his videos every single one like he's a he's fucking brilliant bro he's amazing oh uh, does it yeah the guy that's that's amazing too is uh that travis scott director oh yeah he's out of his world yeah i forgot his name yeah but that guy that guy's insanely good too you know his videos they're they're always on point yeah but i gotta go with jay cole though yeah jay that's, cole. Respect. that's respect all right well go ahead and ask him the next one would you rather direct a porno or a six nine music video in la with no bodyguards <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, you've song, already kind of you have more experience with the six nine music video kind. I guess with the rap with that uh those gangster rappers. I guess it's kind of yeah. Simple. Yeah. Well, I mean, directing the porno and and uh, actually being in the porno video is completely different. So I would have to probably go with the six nine video because okay. no again, bodyguards though, bro. <laughs> in L A. Well, I mean, you might get shot this time now. I see. I see the. I see <laughs> the. Uh, I see the rosary on your bed, though. So I mean that. I mean you're probably religious. Your family would disown you. So uh, you can't just change yeah, your I name. Mean, change your name yeah. with the porn though. <laughs> that well, I mean the porn the 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 porn videos I've heard. I've I've never shot one, but I've heard they get a little messy. You know, like, like especially oh, yeah. for the camera guy. Especially oh, yeah. for the camera guy. You know, like I, I'm not I'm not gonna want no uh no no guy stuff on. Get the me. Hey, get the shot. Whoa, hey. bro, you missed, you missed fool. <laughs> Hey, hey, and then you had to run it back because you didn't get the shot. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get the you didn't press record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> press record. Yeah. Hey, for a shot like that, I gotta just that's the first thing I would have to check, you know, like it's, it's recording. 
Yeah, yeah, because I've actually seen uh, the rest of why I've seen some behind the scenes. Uh, but you know, sometimes they co- they come up in the in the filmmaking like some behind the scenes of like people right. actually doing it, and they get a little messy. So I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I'm good. I'll, I'll probably <laughs> just risk it and go with six nine. <laughs> yeah, okay, I respect uh, that. All right, the next one. You rather fight Jake Paul or Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, you know, I would probably go with uh, Floyd Mayweather. So at least if what? I get my ass beat, you know, it's, you're, you're gonna get you're paid gonna though, fighting, right? You're, yeah, and then again, you're gonna be fighting a legend because I mean, Jake Paul. If you up Jake Paul's ass, that's really not something you can show off. You know, yeah, you, that's yeah. something you can't be proud of. So, you know, if I get my ass beat by Floyd Mayweather, like, I'll be yeah, one of true. the very few people that could, you know, brag about that. Yeah, yeah. All right, the next one. Do you rather? Do you prefer to help create the Thriller music video or California Love? I gotta go with California Love. Damn, you know, classic. Huh? Yeah, it's two two legends on there. You know, and just the video itself, it's, it looks like it took a lot of, a lot of planning, mm-hmm. a lot of work. And yeah, you know, I just love how it, how it came out. It's thriller, fun, you know, too. like Michael Jackson, that, that guy, he has some awesome videos too, rest in peace. Right. But you know, like, like I would have to go with Thriller, you know, huge Tupac fan as well. I so mean, which one would you go to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm already messing up. You know, I would have to go, I said California Love. I would okay, have to go with California Love. All yeah, right. I'm so gonna say that I, would, I, I would go with Thriller. Tupac's uh, an awesome guy. You know, <laughs> yeah. <I'm already> <laughs> yeah, I would have to go with uh, California Love. All right, for sure. I mean, Last one. Good. Last one. So we are in uh, Christmas <laughs> spirit, right? You rather watch The Grinch or Home Alone? Uh, I would go with Home Alone. I enjoy it. Classic, huh? I love more. Yeah. yeah. Classic. Well, Boyka, thank you so much for joining the show, bro. We hope you had a great time. We really appreciate you, you know, taking your time to spend some time with the boys, bro. Yeah, for Have sure. a good conversation. It was good talk, uh, bro. Thank you for having me on here. And hopefully we uh, get on another one. Oh, oh yeah, pretty for sure. soon. Hey, and let's let's work too, bro. We like to we like to see your work and kind of collab with you and you you oh, just yeah, yeah. us as well, man. We're yeah, let's super, do it. Just we'd be super fucking pumped about we that. We won't bring guns, bro. I promise you. <laughs> Yeah, or alcohol. Yeah. Definitely. No no guns or alcohol. Yeah, yeah. We'll right, get to go. <laughs> Where can the people follow you at? Where can they check out your work? You know, they can find me on I mainly uh use Instagram, just three shot uh period uh Sakras. S A C R A Z. You know, I post most of my work on there. Mm-hmm. I sometimes use my YouTube channel, but you know, I need to start posting more on there. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's definitely. it's mainly just mainly just Instagram. You know, I got to get on with TikTok too pretty soon, but you know, it's still yeah. still not there yet. Right. Yeah, not but let's just uh, yeah, Instagram street shot period Sakras. You'll find me there. Yes, sir. Go check out his work. It's fucking fire. Trust me. You guys will will be amazed for sure. I nah, appreciate it, brother. Well, thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure you guys go follow our Instagram at that's how you feel. That's T H T S. How you feel for all the fire content we're telling y'all up to date. Up-to-date news and music and sports. Funny videos. See who's coming on the show next. And much, much more. Hey, yo, Don B, do we hit him with another one or what? Yo, hit him with another one, brother. Yes, sir. Let's go.